If you're watching this, you're probably trying to decide on which program to choose. So in this video, I'll give you a basic rundown of each program. I'll also talk about the similarities and differences between each. And at the end, I'll give you what I think is the best program out of those three. You'll also find time tabs for everything in the description. Let's start off by talking about computer science. But first, let's see how the internet defines computer science. The internet says computer science is the study of algorithmic processes on computational machines. What the hell does that mean? I literally have no idea, so let's simplify it. Basically, computer science is the art of understanding how a computer thinks and teaching it what to do. Now, in general, that means computer science is going to be more abstract and theoretical than engineering. But if you were to choose to get into computer science, these are the types of courses you can expect to take in your first year. You'll see things like algebra, calculus, or data abstraction. You'll also notice that you have a bunch of electives you can take in your first year. That makes it computer science a lot different than engineering, because in engineering, everything is laid out for you, and you just have much less electives that you're allowed to take in your program. And later on, in later years, you'll see that you'll take courses like machine learning and artificial intelligence. Also, with a computer science degree, you can expect to work pretty cool jobs. You can work as a full stack developer, web developer, data scientist, or even software engineer. So go to show that you don't necessarily need an engineering degree to get into the engineering uh, workforce. With a computer science degree, you can actually work as a software engineer. You can also expect to work at some pretty cool companies like Google, Facebook, Dropbox. I mean, the job prospects you have with a computer science degree are insane. So it's definitely an incredible degree to go with. All right, now let's talk about software engineering. But first, let's see how the internet defines it. Software engineering is a systematic application of engineering approaches to the development of software. As from that definition, all I basically got is software engineering is the application of computer science. It's clearly less theoretical and less abstract and more hands-on. Now the courses you can expect to take in your first year are like right here. You'll notice that you're taking similar courses as computer science. You have uh, calculus, algebra, data abstraction, but you'll notice that the course load is heavier and you'll notice that unlike computer science, you don't have any electives in first year. So in general with engineering, you don't have much flexibility in your schedule. And then later on in later years of software engineering, you can expect to take courses like these. You'll notice you have logic and computation or operating systems. So again, it is slightly different than computer science, but you should note that with computer science and software engineering, you can literally work in the same field. And finally, the, you know, let's talk about the jobs you can get from software engineering. It's very similar to computer science because you can work at companies like Apple, Google, Facebook, and you can get similar jobs. You can obviously work as a software engineer. You can also work as a data scientist, iOS developer, or even mobile developer. So again, computer science, software engineering, pretty sick job prospects, and you can end up getting the same job from both majors. CS and software engineering are pretty similar, but computer engineering is where things are a little bit different. That's because computer engineering focuses on teaching you about computer hardware and computer software. And so basically you can expect to take courses in computer science, but you can also take courses in the fundamentals of electronics. And so because of that, you can expect to take these kind of courses in your first year. You'll notice you have linear algebra again, you also have calculus, but you also see that you have courses in electricity and magnetism. And later in upgrades, you can expect to take these kind of courses where you'll see computer architecture or operating systems. So the key differentiator here is that with computer engineering, you take courses in the hardware engineering area as well as the software engineering area, which means that you have, I guess you can see you have a greater uh, jobs available to you because you can end up working as a firmware infrastructure engineer or you can end up working as a software engineer and you can also end up working at some pretty cool tech companies because you can work at Apple, Tesla, Microsoft, similar computer science and software engineering. The job prospects are really, really good. However, you should note that you have much less flexibility in your courses compared to computer science and the course load is as much as software engineering. Now that we have a basic understanding of each program, what you can get out of it and the types of courses you're expected to take, Let's talk about the similarities and differences between each. The first similarity is that all three programs will require you to take a course called Data Structures and Algorithms. Now, the unique thing about that course is that every job interview that is related to the software world will ask you questions from that course. So that being said, you can expect to work in similar jobs regardless of which of these three majors you choose. So if your goal is to get into the software world, these three majors will help you get there. Now let's get into the differences. The biggest difference in my opinion is that software engineering is so much harder to get into than computer engineering and computer science. And if you look at this diagram right here, you'll see on the x-axis admission average, and on the y-axis, you'll see the probability of getting an offer. And it's clearly obvious that software engineering is a lot harder to get into than computer engineering. Because if you look at this chart, you'll see if you have a 95% or higher, the probability of you getting an offer for software engineering is 50%. 50%. But now for computer engineering, the probability of you getting an offer if you have 95% or higher is 82%. So the difference is pretty big. It goes to show if your grades aren't that high, but you want to work in the software world, 
You can just go with computer engineering degree and you'll do just fine. You can get a job at the very, very similar pay. For computer science, there aren't exact numbers like this, but in general, if you have low 90s or higher, you have a good chance of getting in. Obviously, the higher your grade, the easier your chances will be. The second difference between all three majors is that computer science, you tend to have more flexibility in your course selection. But computer engineering and software engineering, the, the amount of flexibility you have with your courses is so little and everything is literally laid out for you. Let me put that in perspective. In your first year of computer science, you're expected to take four electives. That's the same number of electives that you're expected to take in all four or five years of engineering. I mean, that's just, the, that's probably one of the biggest differences between all programs. Now, although all three programs will get you very similar jobs, there are slight differences. The biggest difference is that computer science tends to be a little broader and you can expect to work in jobs like web design, IT or game development, while software engineering things tends to be a little narrower and more specialized. The focus is generally on building apps and uh, developing software programs. To illustrate this, let's look at this funnel. If you look at it, you'll see that computer science covers these roles in the software space, while software engineering only covers a fraction of them. For example, software engineering will cover uh, things like iOS development, data science, but wouldn't necessarily get into game development or IT. Now, computer engineering is where things get a little spicy, because with that, you basically open a new funnel that is the hardware space. So now you have access to the software jobs in the software space, but you also have access to the hardware jobs. You can end up with jobs like firmware engineering or infrastructure engineering. So if you're unsure whether you wanna work in the hardware space or the software space, computer engineering might just be for you. Finally, the last difference I wanna talk about is how hardware and software work together for each major. Let's look at the spectrum. Computer science will lie in the center as it tends to focus on how software programs will interact with the computer hardware around it. Software engineering will mainly focus on designing, building, and testing software products. And computer engineering gives you the option to stick to either the software end or the hardware end. At the hardware end, you can do things like firmware engineering or infrastructure engineering. And the software end, you can get the same jobs as a software engineer would. So now that we have all this incredible information, what program should you choose? First, let's summarize. With computer science, you have a lot of flexibility in your course selection and it's pretty easy to get into. For software engineering, you have less flexibility in your course selection. It is harder to get into, but if you're in Canada, you get a pretty cool engineering ring once you graduate. And for computer engineering, again, little flexibility in course selection. It is easier to get into, and you also get a pretty cool engineering ring once you graduate. And the biggest differentiator is that you can end up working either the hardware or the software space. So if I were in your position and I were to choose out of those three, the one I'd pick would be computer engineering, and here's why. If your goal is to work in the software world, any of the three majors will help you get there. But the reason computer engineering stands out is it's because it's relatively easier to get into compared to the other engineering programs. Another thing that makes computer engineering kind of unique is that, let's say you're, right now, you, when you're applying, you're what, 17, 18, 19, you're pretty young, and you're not sure what you wanna do with your life or what you're truly passionate about. So computer engineering keeps your options sort of open because now you have the option of working either hardware or software engineering if you choose to go with a computer engineering degree. But if you go with a software engineering and computer science, you tend to restrict the job options you have because now you're only on the software route. That's just what I would do if I were in your position. Uh, but I hope that doesn't discourage you from getting into software engineering or computer science if that's something that you're really interested in. Because at the end of the day, the one thing I want you to take out of this video is that regardless of which major you choose, you can basically get the exact same job after you graduate. So don't stress too much about the decision. And that's about it for this video. I hope it brought you value. And if it did, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace!